Yo, it's the push on Taste Radio Dash Radio with your host OG Money, and oh Lord have mercy. Uh 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 uh. You heard that right? All right, so look, man, I got the peoples with an S. The people champ in here. It's a fucking stick up right now. You heard? <laughs> Bed Stuy, three hundred nine Park, Gates Avenue, Madison, Monroe, all the parts in between. EP there got the lovely Lola Brook in here. <laughs> Uh 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 uh, you already know the vibes. Look, look, listen. One one two one six is all me. You get me? Like my parents and all that. Three oh nine. I took it down to two fifty six though. You know what I'm saying? But that's where the that's that's the base. Like that's the baseline. You get what I'm saying? Like when shit go wrong, head up on that end. Of course, of course. And, and, and see, I had to give that grand interest. It was only one. yeah. Now nah, I ain't going front. You did your thing. Yo, look, I'm you getting, did your thing. I'm I ain't going this shit now a little bit. You little nice. Bit. I ain't going front. You little nice. Bit, little bit. So first and foremost, all jokes aside, I want to let you know how proud of you I am. Oh, Super. Man. Super. Not only me, New York, Brooklyn. The star, everybody's super proud, right? Ah, oh, thank you. Shout out to our camera king, 99 Vision. He from the star, too. Yeah, right. yeah, we see you. You heard that camera king. Ain't no camera man. Camera king. So, like I missed your set at Rolling Loud. <sighs> I got invited to that next game. I missed that. But I knew years ago. I said this in the first interview. Y'all could go and check that. Two years ago, I said, I'm like, yo, I called you the queen of New York mm-hmm. and the queen of Brooklyn. You had red hair. You either in your crib, somebody crib. I'm in the boys and girls club somewhere with a, with a fucked up camera. I had big headphones on. I'm still trying to figure out this internet shit. Oh, and man. during that time, for real, <laughs> I was like, you the queen of New York, queen of Brooklyn. Fast forward right here. We in all these fancy offices. You a bonafide star. Thank you. How's it feel? Yeah, you know what's so crazy? I, everybody keep asking me, and I'm like, I don't feel it yet. It feel good to be working, but I've always been working. It just feel good that I'm actually getting my flowers now. But everybody want me to move like mm-hmm. I'm P. Diddy. <laughs> yeah. I'm not P. Diddy. <laughs> I'm still working. I'm still trying to figure it out. It's just the beginning. I got in, so now it's like, how do I stay in? Like yeah. that's what I'm that's what I'm focused on right now. How you how you gonna stay in and make the impact an impact? Well you're gonna stay in the same way you got here. You've been putting mm-hmm. in the work for a long time. Right. Again, during our first interview we were talking about when you when you first had gotten with eighty, that was two thousand and seventeen, mm-hmm. you know it was sixteen. Mm-hmm. You grinded, you grinded, and you've been saying it that I don't worry about numbers, I'm not focused on none of that. Mm-hmm. I'm just putting the music out. Mm-hmm. Right? Putting the music out and now it's clicking. It's super clicking. But you're always talking about the humble beginnings. And I think that's one of the reasons why the peoples, the peoples, right? That's what the peoples choose you mm-hmm. because they feel everything that you're saying. And it's, and it's real facts. And I'm not lying and I'm not trying to sugarcoat it. And I'm saying the things that people are scared to say. Like everybody acting like they, they got a hundred bands in their pockets. Yeah. You don't though, like so. Why you just don't say that you don't? But you could get it. Yeah. Like it's no, it's no shame to your game. Nobody should be embarrassed. Like everybody make mistakes. We here to make mistakes and learn from them. Nobody's ever gonna be perfect. You're hundred percent right about that. No pun intended with the hundred, but you gonna get a hundred mil. Where you going? <laughs> them hundred M's with a hundred plans, definitely. Cause I ain't stopping. This Ooh. shit do not stop for nobody. Stop. No, it, it don't stop. It, it don't stop, and I'm blessed because I was so excited. Uh, you were one of my first interviews, and I was excited because I knew you were going to pop. Like, I knew you were going to pop. I'm like, yo, she rap. She nice. It's gone. The style's behind us. over. I didn't have my chops, nothing. But New York City's rap scene. Before, you know, the ladies have been going on a tear for years. Mm-hmm. But New York City's rap scene is on fire, and the women are going crazy. And, and, and you are like... I'm not going to say leader fan. I don't want anybody to get mad at me. Shout out to Billy B. All of them. I interviewed everybody. Shout out to Billy B. You uh, heard? All of them, but you are the face. Like, for, for us, too. Like, the style, you the face. And, and how does... Not how does it feel to be here now, but, like, mm-hmm. enjoying that moment with, with your peers and, and y'all making history. Y'all going viral, making millions of views Woo! together. All that. It feel, I manifest this, like... In the very beginning, I've always been 
Brooklyn, Brooklyn, everything is Brooklyn, everything is New York, everything is best style to be exact. One, one, two, one, six. Like I've always been that girl because I'm just so proud of where I've came from. Because whoever I am today is what Brooklyn raised me. Yeah. Uh, aside from my mom, but I, I, where I played that, my sandbox was in Brooklyn. So that's who I am. And then now it's so crazy that. It's like people saying like, yo, you the face of New York City for us right now. And at first I didn't want that. Like, I can't explain it. Like my spirit wanted it. And then after I start looking back on things, I'm like, I want it too now. And now it's finally happening. So manifesting is really a real thing, even if you believe it or not. Well, you deserve it. You put in a lot of work. Yeah. So consistent. Your personality alone is going to get you through it before you know it. Lola gonna be doing big movies. I wanna do the movie screens for sure. They're like, gonna do the movies. They're gonna hit you with, the, with whatever show you want and Big Brother 30 and all mm -hmm. that and getting them checks. But it's, it's undeniable. And, and more and more, the fans are gonna chop you up because, yo, things are going crazy on the internet. <laughs> it's going crazy. You, you, got, you got niggas getting in trouble and shit. Yeah. <laughs> you got niggas getting in trouble. I don't even, <laughs> yo, yeah, the internet is something else, yo. Like, they really don't be playing with it. <laughs> they no, not yeah, playing with it. it on the internet right now. Look, 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 look. I'm going to get to that funny shit. <laughs> but, again, during when I first had that first interview, you, you told me how good it felt to not be threatened, right, by other female rappers. Right. The city's going crazy. Mm -hmm. Don't play with it when 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 done with Billy B. Mm -hmm. With the popularity of collaboration albums, I know we ain't get to your project yet, but down the line, with the popularity of these collab albums, would you ever consider doing one of those? Just you and another female artist, and if so, who? As a uh, a project? Yeah. I like Glow. I like Glow a lot. I feel like that's another side of the world. We mm -hmm. two are the same girls, just from different sides of the world. Yeah. And I feel like her cadence and her accent, my cadence, my accent, a bring. It, that, it'll go crazy. That would. I didn't even think about you. Yeah, would, it'll go that's crazy. That's the right answer. Dude, that's yeah. crazy. That's what you go a while. To, nah, that'd be fun. Yeah, like it tap into yeah. different cultures. Like yeah. I always say, everybody be saying, how I feel to grow up from Brooklyn. And I'm like, I'm, it's the trenches. Like yeah. it's like any other trenches. It's just different cultures. We might eat different. Like we might eat different, yeah. talk different. But the way of living is the same. We all struggling. We all trying to make it out. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. But, um... You far from the trenches. You still, the trenches still fuck with you. I'm, yo, listen, I am the trenches, baby. I'm a, shel I'm a shelter, baby, man. You, I, I can't run from that. Yo, I know, look, I know you said that, but see, I see, look, look, see, she's already taking my balls and shit. But see, you talking about shelter, baby, but you went from shelter, baby, to the Barclays in the halftime show. Yeah, the shelter baby made it in. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. I ain't have a curfew or nothing in that motherfucker. Why? Like, <laughs> like, like, yo, she be violent. She be bugging the fuck out. <laughs> Uncle Ben, you see me? Like, <laughs> you know? Real talk. You know what I mean? But look, look, you told me before that mm -hmm. before you opened up for Kish, you was nervous as shit. Yup, I was. Nervous as shit, then you got on the stage. And it went away. How did that feel? Did you have the same nerves before hitting the bar place in the halftime? Were you nervous or why didn't you like, nah, this me? Yo. Shit, bricks. Hove was in the building. Oh, she talking. She talking. I'm in the suite getting ready, my makeup done. They said, yo, oh, I meant to tell you. Hove here. Mm. I said, what? Yo, I said, yo, listen, I'm about to start crying. Just just bring all the makeup brushes down with you so you can fix me up. Uh, uh. They didn't put mascara on me because of that, because I thought I was going to cry. Wow. I'm like, yo, you don't understand. Like, I went back and studied this man. Like, I've always been a fan of him, but now that I'm an artist in the game, I wanted to study his moves because he wasn't just an artist. He's a, he's a businessman. I don't want to just be an artist. I want to be a businesswoman as well. And I don't feel like nobody is topping him from where I come from. Like, it was just, everything was so crisp. It wasn't perfect, but it was so crisp. And then when he got on, what, age 28? He did the impossible. He made it possible. Like, it amazes me every day. I get older, I understand things. I can read between the lines a little better. So it, that man right there is the GOAT. All I kept saying was, whatever happened on that floor, keep going. 
that nigga hove in here. Like, yeah, like what? You can't fuck this package up. I said, if you fuck this package up, you out of here. I'm talking to myself, yeah. talking crazy. You out of here. See, see, look. <laughs> New York, you know how New Yorkers are. Yo, I'm from this, I'm from that. I love the whole Brooklyn, I love the whole New York. Mm -hmm. The style is different. That's what I'm saying. It's I'm from around different. the corner from this man. Like, different. I remember being a kid, he had videos, He, because you know, he always tapped in with the kids. Yeah. He had videos, and I was like, what the fuck? I ain't in that video. That's up the block. But yeah. now it's like, nah, maybe you wasn't supposed to be there. You supposed to watch so that you could do the same thing that he doing with somebody else. One hundred percent. Like the star got full blown legends in the Real game talk. in the community from the whole, back, the, back. the whole big, the camp, the low love, the low love. Feel me, G money, the finesse. How Come I get here. up in here? How I'm up in here with Lola right now? Ah, uh, don't finesse. do that. Don't do that. Don't Professor do that. Vanessa, you know, you know. So, but but after that show. What was the feedback? How did you... I don't want to say how did you feel, but after that, are you looking for, like, bigger stages? You did Rolling Loud. You did Barclays in it. Is, is it like, yo, I need more. I need more. Or I need more. Yeah, I'm like, I got to go bigger. Every time I got to go bigger. Like, I'm grateful for the stages that I've already touched, but I got to keep going up. Like, I be excited, but it just ain't... It, it ain't... It ain't... It ain't enough. It's never going to be enough, honestly. For real. It's never going to be enough. How do you maintain that hunger? Um, I just always look back on my story, on how far I came, and how difficult it was for me to actually be who I want to be, who I am. Yeah. <laughs> Rather than being something that I'm not, I'm actually fighting to be me, and I fought for a long time. So it's like I can't stop. Then I got people hitting me up, telling me that I inspired them, and I'm like, damn. I don't just got fans. I got like real, real people. Like it's real, it's real people behind this. It's not just me. It's bigger than it's bigger than me. At first, it was about me. It was yeah. like that's how I felt. It's about me. It's not about me no more. It's about me and Brooklyn. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah look. That's what it's about. I was excited to interview the first time. Since then, I interviewed a couple of names. Right, I interviewed a couple of people. But when I heard us back up, I got so excited. Matter of fact, I almost. Fucking broke my neck outside. I took one slip. I told Flo, I damn near broke my thumb. I said, we gonna make this good because I gotta make sure I don't fuck this shit I got on. You feel me? Can't do that. Can't do that for the style. Say you know that. Say saying? that. Make sure y'all niggas can't fuck say around. Say that. I can't fuck around, G. Money. <laughs> but um, yo, put me on to the Gator season. What's up with the Gators? All right, so look, right? That Gator shit just came out of nowhere. I did a freestyle for I ninety five platform. My first line was 2020, I ain't giving out no favors. My skin bulletproof, nigga, I'm big Gator. And then in the comments, people kept just saying, Gator, Gator, Gator. But then I start looking up, like, you know, studying alligators and stuff. And I'm like, it really fit me. Like, I, like, I could do this. Especially Gators is like, they so close to the ground. But the motherfuckers are scary than a bitch. Yeah. Like, <laughs> motherfuckers are scarier than a motherfucker. And I'm so close to the ground, but when I speak, when they growl, yeah. oh, you know, they not playing. So the gators fit me so well. And then it's like, you could put me in the water, what, what um, Biggie said. Throw me in the jungle. I had a motherfuckers dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you put me in the ocean, you put me in a lake, or you put me on ground, dry ground, I'm going to turn that shit up, no matter what you do. I'm coming. So, 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 the, 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 is it like the do the gators be coming for people too? See, the gators is they keep it, they keep it cute. Like they, they only yeah. come for you if you come for me. Like that's that's they live in Gatorland. I got this whole little, this whole little. <laughs> we live in Gatorland. You get me? So, so can anybody be a gator, or is there like prerequisites? Mm, nah, anybody can't be a gator. Like you know, anybody right. just can't be a gator. Cause you know that nigga Perkyo, he bugging the fuck out, right? You heard that? What he did? We do. So this nigga, so Ruby Rose posts one of your lines on her, her uh -huh, gram, like, uh -huh. yo, do something to make me feel good. Yeah. And, and he she like, come? And he like, and he like, yo, let me fly you out. Oh, niggas killed them. And I'm like, niggas, you a gator? Nah, he can't be, he like, what's he? What's you doing? He wanted, why he even, he why he even? He wanted that moment. 
What what was it private or was public? Like he did it publicly? I think he did it publicly. He really right. No, yo, no disrespect to her, yo, but you bugging for that, man. Let alone it. That's not for you, boy. Yo, she listen. She said, "Do something to make me feel good." All the she, <laughs> that don't make a that don't make you feel good from a little text on social media. No way about that, my nigga. Saying what you was gonna do, he should have said, "Yo, ma, look, check it." Got your flight right now. That nigga is not for the shot. He's not going. Five. A five star right now. Uh, 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 I, I see. I'm the type of I'm the type of John where it's like you ain't coming though, right? <laughs> this oh, flight, shit. this flight just for me and my uh, and my best friend. <laughs> do something to make me feel good, nigga. I, do wasn't included into this. He fucked up right there. Super, super. <laughs> this ain't about you. I, she said, do something to make me feel good. Yeah, true. Nigga, true. it's all about me. It ain't about you. And, and you know we're gonna bring it back to you. That's enough of that. <laughs> That's enough of that. But the Gator Gang is serious. I want to get straight back to the music because mm-hmm. you and Dizzy got a few joints. Facts. Y'all got dope chemistry, man. Yeah, for sure. Y'all got dope chemistry. So, what other producers are you locked in with? Because it's almost that time. I know we're going to get a full body mm. now. Oh, of course. All right, so we got Dizzy, Reefa Music, and it's, it's a couple. See, those are the only two producers where I locked in where I got mm-hmm. like over... 10 records with type shit. Everybody else, I done probably we done tapped in and things like that. I can't even think of them on the top of my head right now because I've been working like crazy. But yeah, me and Dizzy be locked in. Locked in. Like, that's my boy. He one of the ones music. in the generation. Like, he's touching a lot of the... He's with the Yeah, he's the youth. The like, we the youth. Yeah, like, for real. this is the time to make a whole new lane that just feels familiar. That's all. Yeah, and y'all got some joints, so... What up with the project? I know you've been giving us joints. I'm listening to everything. Don't play with it. Been going viral. Here I come. Here I come. come. Uh Uh-oh. Yeah, because I'm not fucking around. Listen, the project is going to come. What I can say is 2023, we will have a project from Lola, but I just ain't got like a real date on it, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm still working. You know, I'm just, I'm having fun with this shit. I ain't going to hold you. That project, though, not playing with it. <laughs> Not right. playing with it. So, so look, I'm going to ask now. I know you're going to give me that, that, that. Because, you I, know, she's still saying, Lola from the trenches, but, you know, she a little, she a little industry. I still ain't like got the 100 bands. Let right. me know. What name, what name, what name, what name you thinking about? For little Big Mama, man. <laughs> little body, big voice. It's just, it is what it is. It's, it's, big voice? Instead of, it's like a self-title oh. without a self, a self-title. That's little right. Big Mama. It, it is right. what it is. And I want everybody to know that, yo. Before it was Lola Brooks, she was already popular. Like, she was already popular. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say the names, but niggas know her. N- niggas know her. Like, she always popular and shit. Like, I saw myself, that, I said, that's her right there. Like, I'm like, yeah, niggas know what's going on. This is your time. This is everything that's happening is for a reason. Like, you yeah. got the personality. You have the talent. You know how to put that shit on. Everything. And it is today. I just, today was one of those days where I literally just... Oh, me too. Me too. Me too. All right, yo. So before we get out of here, Mm -hmm. Lola, let us know how you can get in contact with you, all the socials. Everything. Don't even trip, no, look, listen, y'all, make sure, I curse, yeah, right? yeah. cause you know, I don't, I don't yeah. want to curse too much. Make sure y'all motherfuckers tune into my new shit. Here I come. Here I come. Uh-oh. It's on all platforms. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Come on, baby. Don't play with it. All streaming platforms. Y'all got to make sure y'all stream my shit so I can get the 100 bands that I keep saying I ain't got. And follow me on Instagram, Lola.Brook. 11216. That's the zip code, just so you know. She hmm. capping, man. She getting paper, nigga. I can't even let you know where we at right now. But understand, it's g money. <laughs> Lola Brooks, look, she don't do Q and A. She stay on the P. I stay on my P's and Q's, motherfucker. Yeah, again, Uncle Ben, you see me? Why you see me? Best style, y'all see? Wait, hold on, hold on, with us. Ah! You see me? I, this is free, man. Oh, Nike, shout out to Nike. They gave me some classic oh, joints. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I wear shit that. Um, oh no, they showed off. Oh my bad. Oh. Nah, you good. <laughs>